layered oven fried with a tahini yogurt. So we've got these um, potatoes already cut and kind of fried style and we're gonna um, sprinkle them with some rice flour and a pinch of salt and a good pinch of salt and a bit of olive oil, E-V-O-O, -O, as you say. <laughs> and, um, and we're just gonna toss it together because these are gonna be baked rather than fried. Right. And the rice flour kind of helps them become kind of crispy. It's like that added starch. It's a nice little crispy coating. Exactly. Mm. Um, I've got something for you, Noor. Oh, thank you so much. So just kind of toss it together, just roughly, and then cover it with foil. And then I'm gonna stick it in the oven. So the foil kind of lets them steam and cook steam up through. A bit. Right, right. And then you'll take it off after 15 minutes and then crank up the heat and get them nice and golden. It's like when you fry, you fry at two different temperatures. So we're baking and like starting with the steam and then crisping it up. That's right. Mm. And the mm. condiments are the stars here. So Noor, do you want to show them the condiments? Yeah. They are so good. All right, so we'll go through the condiments. So first I've got some pickled stems. We always use so many herbs and there's always mm. loads of stems left over. Oh, Don't ever throw great. them away. Just mm. finely chop them and mix them with some vinegar and salt so and then you cilantro. can use that. Uh, mm. Cilantro, yes. And then we have these smoky sweet nuts, which has um, got pine nuts and almonds that have been cooked in olive oil. And then we've got loads of chilies, Urfa chili, Aleppo chili, smoked paprika, a bit of sugar and a bit of salt to add this like smoky sweet taste so there. So we've got like the 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 Urfa chilies are really deep in yeah. flavor. We've got all those kind of layers and then the, the Aleppo is slightly spicier mm -hmm. and they add that red color so you've got like different colors different flavors and that gives it that mm -hmm. richness. Yeah and now I'm making the tahini yogurt so we've got tahini, Greek yogurt and also a pinch of salt. It's so easy to make and then you also want a bit of water to thin it to out. To thin it out. Yes. Tahini kind of like will seize up um, but then you just keep whisking and whisking it until it's nice and smooth. And that's what I'm gonna do here. Actually, this dish was inspired by when I lived, I lived in the States and I used to go to, I discovered diners. <laughs> and uh, me and my friend- She were, discovered yeah, diners. I didn't know about diners, right? And then I was like, oh, this is great. And they had like a disco fries. I love that you're making some disco fries. Yeah, yeah, tahini. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. So that is all done. I'm gonna go to the oven now. How long have you guys been working together? Six years. Six years. years. Yeah. And so, <laughs> so these are the, the fries. So they've been uh, oh steaming my God. and then cooking. Look over there. <laughs> So I'm just gonna. Those are fantastic. Thank you. Just Absolutely delicious. Put them on this plate here. You can use your hands. No worries. And I love, you know, I've seen you in so many wonderful talks and interviews when you just did my friend's show. My friend, uh, Andrew Kaplan, he has a great podcast. Um, and I, I love the stories about how you come to all of this and how the, book, the books kind of, they find their own way depending on who you want to work with. Yeah. Every person brings their own personality. So mm -hmm. Noor grew up in Bahrain, in the Gulf, mm -hmm. and she cooks like with those flavors, Arab, Persian, right. Indian, and so, so they all end up in the recipes. Other people bring in their own story. So once there's enough, we create a book that is actually really focused on that particular person and their influence, but under the Ottolenghi umbrella. And it, it just creates really, really exciting things. You know, like, look at this dish. Like, look at mm -hmm. that. That is so, there's so yeah. much so got sunshine. To look at it, and I'm going to eat it. You can all grab a copy of the latest <laughs> book, Otolenghi Test Kitchen Extra Good Things. It's out now. <laughs>